let's say if we have a steel bar asana yes, bidro yes sir and let's say this is just the the length of the steel bar and let's take this is 5 meters and we will take the diameter let's say 30 centimeters now this is actually the diameter we already know that the weight of the steel can be actually its volume times the unit weight it means we have to determine the volume now remember the volume of the same thing can be pi d squared divided by 4 because this is the cross sectional area times the length okay you remember that asan yes sir now you have I know to... sir okay that's good now you have to put values over here like maybe for d is 30 centimeter or maybe 0.3 uh, meter okay and divide by 4 times the length what should be the length that is 5 okay the volume you can say 0 0.353 cubic meter this is the volume okay now we can put this volume over here in the same formula w equals the volume which is 0. 353 times the unit weight. It's important. You know the, the unit weight, okay? Now, now it's also important that what type of steel is this? Is it cast iron? Is it wrought iron? Wh which type of steel is this? So the unit weight may be changed. However, in constructional projects, most of the time we use mild steels. Okay, maybe in slabs, in uh, beams, in columns. Okay, so the, these are the mild steels normally. Now, the weight of mild steel bar is actually uh, 700, uh, sorry, 7,850 kgs, if you remember this, per cubic meter. Okay, so you have to put that value over here. Now, again, you have to Google the unit weight of each material, so the process is just simple for you. Okay, just multiply the, the volume with uh, 7,850. We have actually 2,700 and 74 this is actually in kg is it clear now we will just move ahead for uh, some some formula stuff because calculating the volume and calculating uh, uh, then the, the weight that that take actually much time okay we will use some formula stuff like maybe we have a formula for weight which is d square by 162.198 